five young Canadian musicians overnight they were named to the 2011 YouTube Symphony Orchestra. They did an online audition named today. They receive a trip to Australia and they'll play at the Sydney Opera House in March. One of the people in this new group, there she is there. On her instruments, a percussionist from Toronto, Michelle Hu, one of the winning musicians. She's now going to be training for a bit under Michael Tilson Thomas, Grammy Award winning conductor. But before that, she's with me this morning. Thanks for coming in. Thank percussionist, we were just laughing at, always in the back. This morning, you're center stage, and I get to say congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be How here. How did you find it? It had to be online. It was online. <laughs> they messaged my YouTube account. Could it be any other way? <laughs> and when you got that message saying you're in, what did you think? Oh my god, I, I woke up one morning, I saw it in my inbox, in my email, and I just froze. And then I got up, I just, I couldn't even open the door handle. I just like stormed out, and I was like, oh my god, I was dancing, and then my family was like, what's wrong, are you hurt? Are you hurt? I'm like, no, <laughs> no, I'm so I'm in. Why? Why is it such a big deal to be part of this, a boost for a young musician like yourself? Uh, it's just surreal, like, I think it's a one lifetime opportunity to be able to play in the Sydney Opera House, for sure, like, I can't I know, even, I can't even imagine what it would be like for a, for a musician to have that honor. I'm what so do you think happy. it's going to be like? I have no idea. Honestly, it hasn't even said it yet. <laughs> so. Well, it will in due course. Now, this is this some of what you are. This is some of your audition tape, Michelle. Yes, it is. This is. So you had to do an online a video and then post it online. Is that right? That's right. And here we see you on the snare. Yes. Because you play a range of percussion instruments, don't mm -hmm. you? All sorts. In my audition, I play three instruments. I play the marimba, and there's also a snare drum, and also play a little bit of triangle as well. Nice. Yeah. And you brought in for us. Your maracas. I did. This is my favorite percussion instrument, actually. You know, the maracas don't get enough solo time. So yes. let me listen to you. Okay. Okay. Come with that. So they're always in the right. background going like, you know, like this. I, I love playing like learning a Venezuelan type of style. For playing. example. So it's like. Never heard the maracas like that. That's it's fabulous. Yeah. They would be solo if more people played them like that. Big applause from out in our newsroom <laughs> as well. So what happens from here on in? Here we are in January. You're going to perform in Sydney at the con at the Opera House in March. What happens between now and then? I'm not sure yet. A lot of details aren't let out yet. Okay. But I think they're going to start announcing pieces, and then we'll. So you don't know it. yet what you're going to be playing. No, I have no idea. Do you know you're the the conductor under whose baton you'll be uh, performing? It'll be Michael Tilson Thomas. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. You yeah. know of him, and that'll be a thrill, yeah. Grammy winner. For sure. I've never met him, but I've only heard great things, so I'm really excited. For sure. For you, you just graduated from U of T's musical performance just yes. back in June of last year. That's right. To be named to this international symphony. How big a boost do you think it could be for your career? I hope incredibly huge, <laughs> that's for sure. Like, I already received um, a message from one of the members of the orchestra who plays the flute, and he plays Venezuelan type uh, flute, and then he asked if I wanted to play a duet with him, actually. The Moroccan right? is the flute? Yeah, like a duet. I was like, this is exactly what I'm in it for, to meet people and play music. So. It's already starting. And it's All sorts of potential pairings and, it, and, uh, exactly. and so performances. Hopefully lifelong connections. It's a really interesting phenomenon for those who are maybe purists, traditional arts, classical music, yeah. to have it taken to the online form. What do you think of the pairing of the two? I think it's fantastic. I actually found out about this because I'm a frequent YouTuber. It wasn't actually through the music community. It was just being online. So I've always wanted this connection. Like... Hopefully they'll keep doing this. So who knows what's going to happen to like the two worlds colliding? Well, wonderful! Congratulations yeah. to you, to the four other Canadian musicians. Want to give us a little bit uh, of a sound that we heard you? Can you uh, maraca us out maraca to commercial break? I want yeah. to hear a little bit more. I never, as I yes. said, more about Venezuela. I'm going to do a little bit. All right, you play. I'm going to read here. We showed you the five Canadian musicians before. We have Michelle Live, so let me tell you about the others. Eileen Showman, also uh, from, from Canada, and uh, let me just give you the names here. Paul Hung, Sarah Twigwell, Richard Carnegie. Thank you, Michelle. 